Season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise just aired its finale on December 7. Initially, there seemed to be three happy couples leaving the beach together. Aaron Bryant and Eliza Izake got engaged, as did John Henry Spurlock and Kat Izzo. Kylie Russell and Avian Jones did not get engaged, but they remained a couple. Within a matter of days after the finale aired, though, all three relationships had imploded. After a fair amount of speculation, Bryant confirmed he and Izake had broken off their engagement. Bachelor Nation fans have a lot to say about the split, and the chaos of Season 9 in general. Here's what you need to know. Aaron Bryant noted the split is amicable. On December 11th, Bryant took to his Instagram stories to confirm his engagement to Izake had ended. I want to thank our family, friends, and Bachelor Nation for all their support not just through the Paradise journey but after as well, the Bachelor in Paradise star began. Tricky emotions watching it all unfold but unfortunately me at Eliza Sachet's love story has come to an end, Bryant revealed. He added, we're leaving our amicable split with nothing but positivity and mutual respect for one another. The Bachelor subreddit immediately started buzzing about Bryant's split confirmation. In less than two hours, over 200 people had commented on it. I'm shocked, I'm not shocked, joked one Bachelor in Paradise fan. Might as well pile on and sneak the expected one in after the other breakups, observed another Reddit user. Bryant's post came just a few hours after Spurlock took to his Instagram page to reveal his engagement to Izzo had ended. In addition, Kylie Russell shared in an Instagram story on December 9 that her relationship with Avian Jones was over, and she alleged he had cheated on her. Jones has since followed up with his own Instagram story apologizing. Fans are quite vocal about the quick run of breakups the quick breakups of all of the season 9. Bachelor in Paradise. Couples definitely left fans feeling discouraged and somewhat annoyed. A fan questioned, is this the least successful season of BIP ever? Not surprised. This season was an absolute dumpster fire, declared another. Ridiculous how no one stayed together wow lol, a Redditor shared. This was quite literally one of the worst seasons ever, and you just knew no one would work out just by how the whole season went, someone else admitted. This whole breakup announcement stint has me cackling, another Redditor quipped. As a different, Bachelor in Paradise, fan pointed out on Reddit, every single couple announcing their breakup a few days after the finale is unprecedented. Bachelor in Paradise has created many lasting couples season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise was a bust, but that has not always been the case. Season 7 created several pairings that eventually wed, and there are married couples from earlier seasons too. Becca Kufrin and Thomas Jacobs recently welcomed their first child and got married, and grocery store Joe Amabel married Serena Pitt. Mari Pepin and Kenny Brosh not only got married during the finale of Season 9, but they wed in Puerto Rico recently too. Hannah Godwin and Dylan Barber are now married, as are Kaylin Miller Keyes and Dean Unglert. Couples from earlier seasons who remain married include Raven Gates and Adam Gotchik, as well as Jade Roper and Tanner Tolbert. Astrid Locke and Kevin Wendt are also married with children.
Abigail Herringer and Noah Erb are engaged in planning their wedding, and some, Bachelor in Paradise, fans would include Ashley Iaconetti and Jared Hybon in their list of successful show couples. There's also Chris Conran and Alana Milne, who remain together after their short stint on season 7. Bachelor in Paradise Fans may not have any official season 9 couples to dote on any longer, but there was one bit of good news regarding a contestant finding love. Braden Bowers did not find love on the beach, but he has fallen for The Bachelor, contestant Christina Mandrell.